First is your engine air filter. Your engine air filter will be in some type of a housing like this, very close to your engine. Simply open it up and remove your engine air filter. Your engine air filter allows a high volume of clean air to enter the engine for combustion. If it's dirty, it'll reduce your gas mileage and reduce the overall performance of your engine. So make sure you change it every 10 to 15,000 miles or whenever it looks dirty on either side. This particular air filter can be washed and re-oiled when it gets dirty and it's good for the lifetime of the vehicle. Next to your drive belts, your drive belts run things like your alternator, water pump, power steering pump, and air conditioner compressor. Years ago vehicles had multiple drive belts, but most vehicles today have just one drive belt called a serpentine belt like the one you see here. If your serpentine belt looks frayed on the edges or you see cracks anywhere on it, then it needs to be replaced. If your serpentine belt breaks while you're driving, then your vehicle will just stop running, leaving you stranded on the side of the road. Most vehicles today will have an automatic belt tensioner to keep the proper tension at all times on the serpentine belt so it doesn't slip or squeal. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is huge, which a lot of people don't know anything about. You need to find out if the engine in your vehicle has a timing chain or a timing belt which is located inside the engine. If you have a timing chain, then it never needs to be replaced. However, if you have a timing belt, then you must find out from the manufacturer how often it needs to be replaced, which will normally be somewhere between 60,000 to 100,000 miles. A huge caveat here. If you do not replace it at the recommended mileage, then the timing belt will eventually break and you will do thousands of dollars of damage to your engine. Next are your tires. Your tires provide traction and absorb shock. Not having enough tread on your tires can make a vehicle extremely unsafe no matter what the road conditions are. To see if you have enough tire tread, just get a penny, turn Lincoln's head upside down, and stick it down inside the tire tread until it stops. If the outer tread does not touch or go past any part of Lincoln's head, then it's time to replace your tires. Also, if you have any abnormal bulges or bubbles on the sidewall of the tire, it needs to be replaced, as it could result in sudden failure or a blowout at highway speeds. Also, it's commonly recommended to replace your tires after six years of use, and make sure you use a correct tire pressure for your specific vehicle. Don't use the tire pressure posted on the side of the tire. And remember, your life is riding on your tires. Next to your brakes. Your brakes allow your vehicle to stop or slow down when you press down on the brake pedal. The actual brakes are located inside the wheel and eventually wear out and need to be replaced. The mileage interval of when they need to be replaced will vary greatly depending on your driving habits. If you do a lot of highway driving, then your brakes are going to last a lot longer than somebody who does a lot of city driving. Have your brakes inspected occasionally. You should be able to find a reputable service center that will inspect your brakes for free and tell you how much is left on your brakes before they need to be replaced. Also, if you ever hear any grinding or unusual noise when you push the brake pedal down, then something is wrong with your brakes and you need to have it inspected immediately. If you don't, it could cause further damage, costing you a lot more money to have fixed. And remember, if you notice any unusual noises, smells, or leaks coming from anywhere in your vehicle, then something is wrong and you need to have it looked at. Well, this concludes Auto Maintenance 101. I really hope this helps a lot of people out there. If you follow all the things we talked about, it'll go a long way in avoiding problems and making your vehicle last a lot longer. If you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.